Jordan Grace is returning to Impact Wrestling, just like I've returned to the channel. Uh, and when I when I review Impact here uh, next week, I will get a little more in depth about some of the changes of the channel and all all of those good things. But um, I am back in the saddle. Have made my trip from Illinois to Las Vegas. I'm fairly settled in, uh, but but we'll be we we will be reviewing Impact soon. I really wanted to review Emergence, but it's about a week later, and it's a little past the point um, where most of the listeners would be, even be interested. But at Emergence, uh, we found out that Jordan Grace is returning. She's coming back. She's looks like she resigned quite a while ago, but she took the time off and. There was, of course, a speculation. Is she going to go to AEW? Is, what, you know, I know in the past she had talked about wanting to go to NXT, but I think NXT is a much different product right now, so that's not good for her. And AEW is not a fit either. If you follow that company at all, that is the one division, even though Tony clearly doesn't pay a lot of attention to it and really care, but that's the one division where they're kind of like, we like our homegrown girls. You know, the Britt Bakers and the... The uh, God, what's her what's her tag team partner's name? Jamie Hayter, um, you know, the Rehos, even though she comes and goes like, you know, they, they kind of like their homegrowns. They don't really they'll bring people in because Tony wants to sign everybody. But if you think of the Soraya's, the Tony Storms, Ruby Soho's, uh, Ty Valkyrie, you know, a lot of these people come in and there's fanfare and then it dies off very quickly. And then they're forced to turn heel because of it. The crowd turns against them um and taya i think was she probably saw how taya was treated when she went there she she was jobbed out very quickly she's not a serious competitor over there at all she and now you know to their to that point she's put on some really bad matches like i've never seen a bad taya match in impact but i haven't seen a good one in AEW. and she actually had three title matches in her first two months in the company lost them all and now she's just spinning her wheels. And um, as I said, a lot of these girls come in, there's fanfare, it dies off, and then they're forced to turn heel because of it. And then they're stuck. And um, they're also playing second fiddle to the homegrown girls over there. You know, Jordan deserves to be the face of a company. And it might be of a smaller company, but, you know, she de- she deserves that. Uh, she... She's going to go down as one of the greatest knockouts ever with the Gail Kims and the Mickey James and some of these other girls that we talk about. Um, she's going to be above the Madison Reigns and the Angelina Loves. And, uh, you know, she can be up there with the awesome Kongs and all that. You know, like she's going to be one of the ones we look back at one day, really talk about. Um, and, you know, hopefully she's an impact lifer as long as they continue to find things for her to do. Now they're bringing her back. She's facing Deanna Perazzo immediately. This is not really something, and what do I know? I'm a podcaster, I'm a fan, but this isn't this isn't the type of match I would put her in immediately. I would put her in more of a showcase match, you know, and, and then build something after that. It was good for her to step away because it's good for wrestlers to step away sometimes so we can miss you. But to finish a program with Deanna and then come right back into a Deanna, <laughs> the program with Deanna, you know, she's never beat her. That's the story. So you can get a lot of mileage out of that, but instead they're just throwing her right back into the match and she's going to win. And that that's what my point is. She's going to beat her this time. So Deanna, who's tapped out twice the Trinity, uh, despite being a superior wrestler is going to now wrestle Jordan. She's going to lose that match too. And I don't think it's going to mean as much because um, th- there was no build up to it. And you might say, okay, well, this they don't need a build. No, not necessarily, but the part of where Jordan finally beats her, you can't just throw the match together. That's insanity. But um, it's good to see her return. Um, and you guys probably know more than me because I was out of, out of the loop during my transition. Um, I haven't seen Jonathan Gresham on TV. I don't know if he took the time off with her. I, I don't know exactly... What's going on with that? But, um, you know, this was a good place for her. He's here. Uh, She's comfortable. She's one of the faces of the division. I'm sure she's got her friends here. So so this is the place for her to be. And and she's not someone Impact can replace. They have let go of a lot of people in the past. 
and I've seen the fans get on social media, oh, well, they're replaceable. When Eli Drake left, they were like, he's replaceable. Like, clearly he's not. He's so irreplaceable that, you know, Impact Social Media, looking desperate as usual, is on there saying, five matches, that'll make you say, yeah. Okay, well, you didn't push this motherfucker when he was with the company. He got a bullshit world title run. You know, they, they they love the people who used to be there, but not always the people who are there. Um, Jordan is someone you can build something with. Uh, she she deserves everything you give her in regards to a push, but she is not replaceable. You cannot go on the indie market unless you're bringing in Tessa Blanchard. You cannot replace her. There's no one like her in wrestling. Um, especially on the independent scene, there's there's no one like her. And Impact always feels like they can replace people, and then they end up with, you know, uh, a roster of guys who just lack, or girls who just lack the personality, you know. Um, that's not the case now. They've got a great roster right now. But in the past, they have tried to replace um, with, with knockoffs or, or, or versions of. But there's no, there's no two Jordan Graces. So it's great to see her back. Would I put her in a program with Deanna immediately? No, I wouldn't at all. Um, but that's what they're doing. So we'll look forward to when she shows up. I think she's one of the few that has a really good theme song. And um, she just looks great. She looks like a star. She is a star. And she's going to continue to do amazing things for the company. 